Well, hello there, and welcome to another episode of No Man's Land Survival Challenge. Uh, we are currently on the objective of fill up greenhouses again. I've already done one pass, and we're, we're just taking care of our daily slash monthly uh, filling up of the mushroom and flower greenhouses, because they are thirsty. And uh, I will say, those look like mushrooms compared... Okay, if you recall last episode, I'm like, those look like mini pine trees. But looking a little different now. So, okay, okay, moving along, doing quite well. Oh, and that is full up, which is good news. So what we can do is move on to our next task, which uh, we just need to hop over here. This guy, what are we gonna do with this guy? Well, it's a lime spreader. So yeah, we're, we're gonna go uh, spread some lime. And I think I need to figure out why Mr. Cover is stuck up. Ah, just need to uh, close the cover. Ah, so I guess I must have been key smashing at one point and opened the cover. Uh-oh. I think we're going to have to uh, lose a bit of girth here and sneak through. There we go. So yeah, this field here that we just planted uh, last episode is in desperate need of some lime. So key, key thing to make sure that we are doing quite well with our yields. Oh, wow. You can really start seeing it change colors. And yeah, maybe even our grass field needs a little liming. So something to look into. So now what did we learn last time when we were doing this field? The helper, the AKA, the, the helper that was doing the seeding, the direct drilling was having a tad bit of challenges with the water. So I don't know whether that's going to happen again, but we will do a few things to mitigate that. Uh, well, one thing, and really that's just a very quick trip around the headland. So hopefully that gives a turning space, although it, you know, it would be nice if it does go in the drink, uh, it would actually clean my tractor. Ooh, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's, that's, I'm hoping uh, that's mud as opposed to manure. And it should be mud because I don't have anything to yet. Well, actually, you can probably tell from the uh, thumbnail. We're getting cows. Yes, we are getting cows here. It is time. I've been wanting these guys for a while. And it's time to go big or go home and expand our animal, f animal farm. No, it's not really an animal farm. Uh, but farms, animals on the farm. There we go. That sounds a lot better. So that is a big game plan because we're going to need uh, need the milk to make uh, to make some things. Like, anyway, so we're going to get some milk. Milk is good for you. Uh, probably need to throw on, get rid of some weeds here too. I didn't think about that here today, but well, step one, let's get the lime on. So what we'll do is I think as soon as we sneak up to here. And wow, you can see my excellent driving skills. We can set this off on a helper. Boom, there you go. Now you might be questioning what I'm up to. Well, the answer is quite simple. I need a spot to put my animals. And I think this field over here would look uh, pretty, pretty good. So, but you know what? This is valuable, valuable grass as well. And we're gonna need some hay. So hey, hey, uh, why don't we work ourselves up to the field boundary? It is tempting to buy field 35 though. What do you guys think? Would it, if we, oh, gotta probably hop out to fly up. Why is our farm growing? It's looking good. And actually, more importantly, our helper has not gone into the lake yet. Good job, good job. So if we're to buy field 35, we get this area more or less here. And then we get the ability to expand. You know what? I'm, I'm reconsidering getting field 35 this time because we are gonna need some space for more productions. 
And that might be good. All right, okay. Woot, mine changed. So let's come into here, fields, farmland, and we can buy field 35. All right, $85,000, there it goes. Oh my goodness. So a little nervous about that purchase. Be like, got plenty of money. Yeah, yeah, I know, but that money is going pretty darn fast. Okay, just checking. Our real Mara mod is turned on. I believe that's showing it as on. We can easily find that out by uh, cutting that down. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's on. It's good. So the advantage of this, and you know what? I, uh, I don't actually want the swathing on. So we are going to put a widespread. Because we're going to tet it. Yeah, we're going to go buy a tetter. And I'm, I'm now somewhat regretting my entire plan. We're going to have to sell. Did we own this piece of property? What did I buy? Oh, yeah, I bought 36. I was looking at field 35 for a second, getting worried. I'm like, what? Got myself twisted around. So we're going to take advantage of this free meadow grass, at least on this side for now, because I think where it makes sense for us to put a, the cow pasture, the cow barn more specifically, is in this neck of the woods. Now, we can decide as we mow ourselves down here where exactly it's going to go. Like, do we want it close to the house, a little further away? Which I am tempted to kind of come down this far and place it down here. But for now, we're, we're just going to boot along and uh, cut some out of grass. Something changed, I feel attached, my world aligned at last. It's in the stars, it's on my hands, I see it in my looking glass. These eyes I don't recognize, somebody simplified. Breathe in the air, Mother Nature set the pace. Well, uh, this actually has been fun. I've actually very much enjoyed using this this mower, uh, especially in such a large area. It, it has cut this, well, it's meadow grass, but nonetheless grass with, with ease. Now, as I was finishing up here, I'm like, you know what? I, I realized it might've been wise to try to put the tether on this. Although given my uh, up and down and zig and zagging um, driving here. You know, it might not have worked out anyway, so it is what it is. So what, what well, at least what it currently is, it is it is done. And boy, is I, I just love that. Like, just one little click of X and up she goes. And uh, yeah, the grass is mowed. So now, what we need to do is get a tractor. In fact, we need to get two tractors up to the store so we've got one tractor there we've got this fellow up here and we have the original mower we bought I, b I believe it was episode one i'm like uh it's like probably the best mower and it was on such a great sale i'm like we, we've we've got to do it so but for now we're, we're actually no longer needing it because we've got a perfect mower so we will repair it we will repaint it and we are going to sell it there you go goodbye so now while we're up here we need to purchase a tether okay a whole lot of things we don't need there so we can come in here and we have where where did we go tethers 
So that's 4.4 meters, 8.7 for 16, 9 meters for 16.5, not too bad. That would be nice, but you know what? We actually have to save our pennies. Hmm. Hmm. This one, uh, it's from the Hay and Forage pack, 8.2 8 meters. Uh, it's hard to justify that. The only thing is it requires less horsepower. It goes 15 kilometers per hour, but it's nice that that is. Uh, if that was cheaper for the 8.2 versus 9, it might be worth it. Nope. And then I got this mod here, so I don't, I don't think we'll go with that. So let's just have a quick peek. I've been leasing this header. How much to purchase that? Uh, $70,000. Okay, we're not, not there yet. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. So if we come back, we need to, we need to save some pennies. So the question is, is the $500 worth it for the 0.3 meters? No, I think we'll, we'll, we'll buy this. Let's, let's, let's buy this fella. There we go. Okay. So of course we need it to... And actually, now I'm even questioning whether we truly needed the two. The two tractors up here, because one of these tractors is actually needed for a wind rower. Since we're going to TED, we need to uh, have our wind rower. So, and I think I could have... Oh, where we go. I could have put the tether on the front of that tractor. It would have handled it fine, I'm sure. But since we need to get the grass tethered anyways, um, I think it's the wrong way. Yet yeah, there we go. Run into the wall. Really glad there's no collision damage. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I, I would be in a lot of trouble with the collision damage. So, all right, so we got that. Uh, let's get ourselves back to the farm. Okay, just pulling up here with a big Bertha. So what we're gonna do, and actually maybe I should have got the larger tether, because given the size of this wind rower, Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's slightly larger, I assume, than nine meters. So, but nonetheless, oop, we are going to set it down. I do believe I still have the follow me mod. Yes, it is set up, but we are going to tell it to really increase the distance. So, Maybe a hundred meters. That probably should be fine, I think. And the reason why we're doing that is, ooh, and we got to make sure we go where it can actually get through the trees. But we need to give the uh, tether a chance to do some tetting. Hmm. You know what? I almost think. I'm going to have to, yeah, we're, we're going to have to pause this plan. This was a great plan until it was no longer a good plan. So we'll turn off the helper. We are going to have to, I think, do these two things separately, unfortunately. Yeah, I think that's going to be the case. I was really hoping to save some time by using the Falmy uh, app mod that I have, which works, except the uh, wind rower with it far exceeds the little itsy bitty uh, tether that I got here. So, yeah, I didn't think that through. Maybe I should have splurged. So, what I think we'll do is we'll do a pretty. Actually, what we're going to do, okay, here's new plan. We're still going to use the follow me mod, 
But what we're going to end up using it for is we're going to have a tractor with the follow me mod, following the wind rower, and that tractor will be bailing the hay. So what I think we can do is it's quite evident what's going on here. Got a beautiful tetting action going on. Let's do a, a quick jump cut to when we're uh, nearly done uh, bailing, well, wind rowing and uh, bailing up the hay. You know, I, I figured as as I'm uh, finishing up uh, here, I probably should actually show off using uh, this wind rower. We bought it oh so long ago on sale, and it just sat up at the store like, and well, I don't know, unwanted something something, but yeah, it was definitely unwanted for the longest time, and I'm like, uh, yeah. Now, what probably also needs an upgrade is that baler. It is having a hard time with the turns I'm doing with this. Now, I'm not too worried. You know, back in my Elm Creek series, I was worried about every last little drop of grass, salad, hay, whatever, because it, it was monies. And, uh, well, we actually are, funny enough, desperate for money. Um, so we might have to have a look at that. But now I'm like, eh, it's, it's you know, a little bit of hay, a little bit messed now. If I can get another bail out of it, you know, I might go around and pick things up. But you'll notice on the turns, in fact, you can see right, right by that bail there, given the turn I did take with this, it had a hard time. It missed some bits. So I guess I could take a, try to do a more shallow turn as we come around, see if it does a better job. But yeah, that swath picker upper is, is not very, um, Hmm. generous compared to the quick bail, where, uh, which I use for making my silage, which, you know, uh, it's a nice, nice bailer, uh, but it, you know, somewhat tongue in cheek could be like, yeah, I could pick all this up in one pass. And I don't mean a uh, wind road. It's just like, yeah, one pass down the field. Okay, it's not that overpowered, but it, it, it does have a lot, a lot of forgiveness in the, uh, the width it actually picks up. So, hey, I appreciate it. Um, so it's this is coming along quite nicely. Now, I actually might try to get a little cheeky here. And by that, I mean I will come around here. Because this Follow Me mod is excellent. It'll follow you even without a trail of breadcrumbs. But come on, dude. Go, 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 go. Oh. Woo! Just, just had the space for that. So, now, there is the ability inside here. And you can't see it by the front one, but when, because uh, we're not following. But the follow, anything you set to a follow, you can set the distance. So that is, that is nice. So... I was really worried I could fix that up. But you know me. I'm like Austin Powers. I like to live dangerously. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this is about as dangerous as it gets here. On uh, Farming Simulator 2022. No Man's Land. Okay. So I think we'll try that again. Because turns are getting tight. Not in a good way. Ooh, yeah, this this is this is bad. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, abort, abort, abort. <laughs> yeah, that was rude. Okay, I wasn't. Uh, I didn't have a plan for that. So, I think you've seen uh, enough of this. Uh, let's just. Uh, Jump two, one, all this is done. Well, the last of it here, and you know what? I actually enjoyed this. Uh, well, I enjoyed the wind rowing and the fact that I had the follow me mod there, uh, have that tractor follow me. Now I'm gonna have to let it uh, catch up here. Actually, in fact, I could probably just stop at this point. And then it will stop behind me. We'll, we'll pull up a little further just to make sure. 
it gets where it needs to go. So, yep, pretty good job. Yeah, the wind rowing great. The mowing was fun. Having the helper fall, it seems like, and the sun has come out saying, yep, good job. Good job. Okay, so that is done. And now it's time to move on. Move on. I did just come around and pick up, uh, I was about to say all the hay bales, but I actually got one, two, three, at least three more. So pretty good load from just meadow grass. So, okay, so now it's time. It is time. We're gonna come into our construction menu, animals and cows. So we do have a number of pastures. Looks pretty good. Uh, we have these moderate ones. That does actually look pretty nice. That holds 80 cows. 80. The auto feeder one. Mm-hmm. Uh, 80. That one does 250. That I call sus on. 30, whole lot, I, wow, I, I downloaded a lot here. So, but you know what? We are going where I've always wanted to go with this. We're going with the, we're going big. The cow barn with the feeding robot. So we don't need to worry about anything. Now, well, well the one thing we do need to worry about is ensuring we have proper access. As if we rotate this around, we need to access, oop, Stop, stop moving. This side over here, you can see. Uh, no, doesn't want to do it. But where you see with the ID Argo, that's where the bot comes out, but it takes everything. You can see little bits of, you know, grass and hay and straw. It has to go through that door and then we don't have to worry about it. And then it, I believe it comes back out and around. Uh, and of course the cows come here. So I am very much leaning towards not colliding with me, but we've got all this space over here. I really wish I could zoom out more. Um, I could go this way. I don't know where I pick up the mill. Oh, I assume well, that could be si um, manure out of that pipe. No, that's probably the milk pipe. Yeah, okay, so actually what I'm thinking is I'm gonna have to find a spot where we're not overlapping with some mysterious object. To be honest, I'm not sure what object we're colliding with, but I'll figure that out. And I think we're gonna put it in this general vicinity. So let, let me get this uh, overlaps with another object sorted out and get the burn placed. We got it placed in and doesn't this look amazing? Uh, basically the issue was, yeah, the train needed to be flattened. It was just a little too much. And as you can see, uh, we've got floating trees. Don't worry, we'll get rid of that. Uh, so it just needed to come down and be carved out. Uh, Cause I, I guess the two sides were just, just too, 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 too much. So, but I still think natural looking field up here and the rest of it. So what we need to do is get some moo cows. So let's come into our productions. Now we do want to, these to be milk producing cows. So they do start here. We need 18 months. So these are 12 months. These would take six months. These would be bang on starting to produce. So why don't we come in and why don't we look at getting at least 20 of these? There we go. Done. And then can we afford 20 of these? Uh, looks like it. Okay. Okay. We have $6,000 left in the bank. Ooh. Okay. So now what's important for us is to find this fella. And we should be able to drive over and put the hay in. And this should be good enough to get the uh, to get them feeding. 
And I'm going to have to come in. I'm going to uh, do a little bit more landscaping. But f like I say, first we really need to make sure these guys get fed. Now that's my first time with this barn. So can we... Ah. Got it in the wrong spot. I need to leave room for the straw. So why don't we pick you guys up. Back you up. And then we can leave you guys here. I do believe, like I say, I do do believe, do do. The hay should start. Oh, you know what? I think we need to wait. Now, will you guys start to, Mr. Robot? Uh-oh, we, we might be in, in a bit of trouble here. Now, we do have straw we can give them. I, I don't think we have any uh, silage on the farm. So hopefully Mr. Robot here doesn't require it. Um, okay, but let's get the straw over here. Doing a bit of research, and it looks like this barn needs sil well, it needs everything. It needs silage and mineral feed, so you can see plenty of hay, uh, plenty of straw, but no silage and no mineral feed. So, what do we do? Uh, well, what do we have to do? We do what we had to do. We went up to the store and purchased everything that we needed, and hopefully this was the right mineral feed. Uh, I believe we bring it over here. No, Bueller, where mineral feed not accepted here. Anywhere, Bueller, here. Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna have to run around and see if Mr. Mineral Feed starts to disappear. Or you know what? We could turn on our icons. That's where it looks like the milk. Oh, mineral feed. Maybe, maybe we're the sign. Good job, Sargon. Okay. So with that, my further reading of this is it comes on the hour every hour. So let's just back things up. Let's also pull away because I do believe the doors need to come down for safety purposes. So let's do that. So we should be able to. Oops. Okay. So I had slowed down time. Let's speed up time and see if magical things happen. Oh, oh, it's doing things. It's doing things. Look at that. Okay. It is taking the, the, like, a little teaspoonful of silage. You can see our quantities there. Oh, we're producing milk. We're producing slurry. Look at that. It's taking the hay. It's taking, I guess, some of the silage, but yeah. That is good news. Oh, and the other good news is we just popped up to over $9,000 because we actually uh, have the, the greenhouse product selling too. And that is good news. Very worried that the ladies here that we've got uh, was going to be a bust of the farm. But uh, yeah, you ladies need to make lots of milk to make lots of money because we have some big expenses next month. Oh boy, and we're broke. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So I think with that, this is a good spot to leave it. Uh, so I'd like to thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.